what has been said about Wendy Williams's financial situation, a comprehensive account of her family and guardian's statements. Even though the documentary Where is Wendy Williams? on Lifetime recently came out, news about Wendy Williams' health battle with dementia and her life under guardianship still made headlines almost a month ago. New court records pertaining to the ongoing dispute between Lifetime's parent firm A Plus E Networks and Williams' guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, were made public last week. The records, which address the documentary and make mention of Williams' much-discussed financial situation, throw light back on the enigma surrounding her wealth. The star's family, including her sister Wanda Finney, 65, and niece Alex Finney, 33, gave people an exclusive last month, detailing what they said happened to Williams's money after she was placed under financial guardianship as well as what they believe transpired at the time. According to Williams' court documents, Wells Fargo froze in the star's accounts in early 2022 after her financial advisor claimed that she was unsound mind. This led to backlash against Williams' family on social media, including her 23-year-old son Kevin Hunter, Jr., with her ex-husband Kevin Hunter. Williams was allegedly at risk of financial exploitation owing to cognitive difficulties, so the bank successfully petitioned a New York court to place her under temporary financial guardianship. Given his position as Williams' power of attorney and reports of a sizable amount of money being withdrawn out of her account, which triggered red lights at the bank, Williams' son was substantially implicated at the time. Since then, a financial services firm representative has told People this matter was processed under seal. Wells Fargo has been cleared of all allegations.